Hey everyone, the name is Eric Tor, and okay, so the Enneagram 1 core truth is not everything can be fixed, and I think this is something Enneagram 1s should learn to take to heart. You cannot fix every problem through logic and reason and science. You cannot use objectivity as an approach to deal with all problems of life and in relationships. You cannot look at everything from purely a critical standpoint. You have to also maintain a good relationship to your own feelings and to the feelings of other people. The Enneagram One is, uh, to me, the reformer, the person that principally is concerned with bettering things. And so, in many ways, the Enneagram One is sometimes labeled a perfectionist. I think this is a bit of a misconception because many types can have issues with perfectionism in different ways. More importantly, the Enneagram One focuses on efficiency. They want to live life in a way that is according to reason, data, logic, and to principles, firm, important principles. The Enneagram One tends to develop principles early in life. You come up with these kind of rules of life of what to do and what's right and wrong and what you're supposed to do in relationships and in life and at work and what is good and what is ethical and what is integrity. And these principles are very important to the Enneagram One. And these are the kind of things that can cause both success and struggles in life for the Enneagram One type. For the Enneagram 1 type, there are two different variations. There is the Enneagram 1 wing 9 and the Enneagram 1 wing 2. The Enneagram 1 wing 2 is much of a humanist that focuses on the bettering of the world and their environment. Thinking about how you can make the world a better place, you seek to improve and fix what is wrong in life and in relationships and in, with humanity as a whole. In many ways, this can be the kind of Enneagram one that, uh, instead of developing principles for themselves, will develop principles for the world as a whole. You believe and can often have a political venture in the sense of feeling that the world should be in a certain way and everyone should act according to certain logical standards and everyone should seek to live life according to what you believe to be uh, the right way to do it. And the Enneagram one wing too is... Uh, in many ways, not always perceived as uh, a warm person because they're not necessarily like the two, a person that will uh, put other people before themselves. But Enneagram 1 Wing 2 is definitely a person with a big heart in the sense that they spend a lot of time thinking about how to help and improve things for other people. The only conception, the only problem is they do take a logical method to do so. The Enneagram One Wing Nine is interesting because this is a person that takes a more inward approach. The Enneagram One Wing Nine seeks to master life and to live according to sound principles that will give happiness and health. This is the kind of Enneagram One that wants to live and practice a good diet, a healthy routine, a healthy lifestyle, and to do and act with uh, in ways that will give you happiness and will give you calm and will give you success at work and personally and in relationships. As an Enneagram One Wing Nine, you can think about, uh, for example, what diet to have or physical exercise or yoga routines or meditation or balance, you'll develop these kind of principles also for a, a firm code of conduct like how you should act and treat other people. But you do not necessarily require this of other people. These are more sound principles that you have developed for yourself that you believe to be good. And you can spend time, you can take time to explain these principles to other people. But they are more things that you expect from yourself than things that you expect from other people. This is interesting because the Enneagram 1 can sometimes present an ideal to the world and can often uh, put forward the idea that they are superior morally in terms of integrity, in terms of honesty, and in terms of character. And uh, other types can sometimes feel like they cannot compare to the Enneagram 1 in these standards because the Enneagram 1 has such strong standards, such strong expectations. Uh, but not all Enneagram 1 types necessarily have these expectations for other people. So remember that while the Enneagram 1 might pride themselves on being in a certain way, they do not necessarily expect you to do the same thing. 
not all Enneagram ones expect you to do the same thing. So don't uh, expect that you have to be or act or do or live in the way that they do just because they do it and just because they feel good doing it. I labeled this video um, logic cannot solve everything or you cannot fix everything and the reason why this is such an important truth to the Enneagram 1 type is there's going to be an almost endless frustration if you are constantly focused on problems and what needs to be fixed. The world is a place of both harmony and disharmony. There is both chaos and order in the world. There are things that are going well and there are things that could be done better. But not every cause you see is yours and you do not need to take on every problem. Just because there are people out there that are struggling and just because there are things that are wrong in the world does not mean those are your things to fix. So as an Enneagram one, it's important to develop those kind of boundaries to recognize what are my problems and my responsibilities and what are the things I can let go of and what are the things I can leave in the hands of other people. What are the things I can accept that are wrong with the world and what are the things I cannot accept that are wrong with the world. Having that ability to prioritize is going to be important for your health and to manage your stress, to avoid unnecessary frustration and to avoid unnecessary anxiety. You do not need as an Enneagram one to deal with and engage with every problem. You do not need to fix everything. You do not need everything to operate according to what you planned. You do not need everything to go along with your plan or with your timeline. The most important thing is you can focus on recognize what is essential and what is important and what is not. So to always be able to see that this is essential and this is important. This is what I need to keep on track. And this is less of importance. This is not my problem. This is not my issue. And this is something I can let go of. So on a daily basis, master what it is that you want to grab firmly by your hand and what you can let go of. And every time you pick up something, learn to let go of something else to avoid overwhelm or swarming yourself. Beyond that, as an Enneagram 1, when it comes to dealing with other people, also recognize that uh, other people will not necessarily be able to meet your ideals or your standards. So what you have in your head for the perfect person or the perfect individual or the perfect way or the good way to do things uh, does not exist in the real world. So these are mental standards. These are not realistic standards. So recognize the difference between what you believe mentally and what you expect mentally and what is actually the reality. Uh, knowing the difference between these two things is important because you have to understand and how to learn to have to deal with and to have boundaries in these issues. So when other people don't live up to what your mental conceptions are, what your expectations are, you need to know that these are just my expectations and these are not necessarily reality. And that you need to talk about your expectations with other people. And you need to also know that they understand what you expect from them. And you also need to understand what expectations are realistic and which are unrealistic. That means talk and discuss with people you work with and friends and family members and what you can expect from them or what you need from them. And learn also to let go of things that you know are unrealistic, what you cannot expect of them because you cannot expect everything from them. And you cannot expect something that you cannot communicate to them. So you need to always communicate and be clear to other people about what it is you want and expect. So as an Enneagram 1 type, you are a reformer. First and foremost, that is what you give to the world. And that is what you can feel the most proud of. You better the world. You improve the world. You see new ways for the world to move forward. You can think of ways to improve the lives of yourself your family, your close ones, and of the world as a whole. And you can set a standard and a baseline for other people to follow. You can master principles and find a way to live that will teach the world how to live, how to be happy, how to be good, and how to do what is right. Most importantly, perhaps, is you can give the world, you can teach the world the importance of honesty and truth and integrity. Just honoring promises, doing what you say you will, committing to something fully and being transparent about what you do and how you do it. As an Enneagram one, you want to really think about and be proud of your ability to 
act as a moral compass and to pride yourself on just being and embodying and doing what's right in every situation even when it's uncomfortable for yourself. So what you do has a tremendous impact on other people. Know that people listen to you, hear you and strive to be you and learn a lot from you. So yeah, feel good about that and keep working and keep improving yourself and keep finding new ways to reinvent yourself and to improve on and better yourself.